So last week I showed you guys some iPhone hidden settings that you need to change right now in order to make your iPhone experience better. But this time around today we've got features, some awesome iPhone features which you did not know about but that will of course make your iPhone experience better apart from all of the settings that you've changed. So guys before we're gonna start of course make sure you hit the like button that would be super much appreciated of course subscribe to the channel if you're really interested in this kind of videos and also hit that bell icon so you won't miss any future uh, notifications and now let's get straight into this and first of all starting with the safari tap on any link with two fingers in the safari app in order to open uh, this link in the new tab this is kind of like in mac os and really really helpful and useful for people who have for example ipads and also iphones so just tap with two fingers like that and as you can see that opens up in the new tab if you have the iphone 6s or for example non-iphone 10 model and you really want to hide all of these notifications that you have on the lock screen so let me just show you as you can see the notification from YouTube and I don't have the actual text in there I just really know that it's from YouTube so in order to hide all of these notifications if your device is locked and you don't want to anyone to see your notifications so just go into your settings and then of course go into the notifications and up here just choose when unlocked so in this case you will know that only you will see the contacts out of this uh, actual notifications from your iPhone you know this one is actually Actually extremely useful for everyone that has an iOS device so instead of just you know going into here and then choosing a symbol like this manually and going back by using this button all you have to do is just basically be typing and then just pressing on the button holding and selecting the character that you need to place for example this one so I'm typing the dot dot and you know it's it's so much quicker and of course this saves a ton of time for everyone you know this next one is mostly for audio files including me as well so you know usually you want to listen to the music when you're going to the bed and just uh, falling asleep but you know you don't want to be in this situation when you're already sleeping and the music is still playing in this way you need a timer so go into here in your clock application then go into timer and then select uh, this option uh, that you have on the bottom the stop playing option and this way when you set up a new timer, for example, I want to listen to the music for uh, let's say 24 minutes because I know I'm gonna be already asleep in for example 16 minutes so in this way I will know that the music stops playing just you know a few minutes after I fall asleep and this one is super useful I actually use this one a lot on my Mac uh, so go into here in your Safari and if you want to find any words on any page uh, in any Safari let's say tab just go ahead and go here into your search bar typing the iPhone for example the keyword and then this bottom section as you can see on this page 13 matches there we have the iPhone uh, word actually matches 13 times on this page just click on it and as you can see you can navigate through the page and be looking for a word the specific word that you need from this page very, very useful kind of same that we have on the Mac OS which is really cool and how about this you've got a ton of these tabs in the Safari open at the same time and you don't really want to be closing every single time like manually every single tab uh, so all you have to do is just basically click on this done button and be holding on it just click and hold and as you can see there's the option to close all of these 21 tabs that I have open and in addition to the previous trick we've got another one so for example in the situation when you've closed some tab that you didn't want to close and you closed by mistake you don't need to go into the history and be looking for it all you have to do is just basically press and hold on this plus button and there we have for example the website Apple Digger which is mine you can go ahead and <laughs> watch some tutorials there of course read some new information about the device and stuff like this but you can just click on this one and it will of course um, bring this back to our safari and yeah guys I think that should be pretty much it for today this is all the tweaks and tricks and hidden tricks that I wanted to show you guys today of course if you enjoy this kind of videos and you want to see more of these on my channel definitely be sure to hit that like button that will be super much appreciated of course and also if you know somebody that is interested of course in this kind of videos please share this video this will of course help me a lot and as always guys I really hope to see you around on my next one and peace out